Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. The New York primary has been canceled. Sure, it could have been done by mail or even electronically, but you didn't really think those would be options, did you? After the New York primary in 2016, we could absolutely count on the DNC using the current events as leverage in their favor. It's clear that many Sanders supporters are unhappy with this event, but Sanders himself has already stated that it was impossible for him to win the nomination. I'm not going to attack Sanders supporters. I understand that you had your hopes for something to happen which benefits your side of this issue. However, no matter what Sanders or his supporters may claim, nothing is going to push Biden or the DNC to the left. They've shown this, they've proven it way too many times to count. Today, we have blockchain computers, biometric confirmations of various types, etc. The banking system has used electronic security for decades with transactions. By comparison to the number of transactions which happen on a daily basis, 365 days a year, to the number of incursions or flaws, the accuracy isn't perfect, but it's not bad. That technology could be used in some way. Plus, there are far more hackers trying to steal money than bothering with electoral systems, like millions more hackers trying to steal money than affect elections. So an electric an electronic voting system is completely realistic, especially for a primary. But no matter what, we're not going to get that. I'd love to be able to say that this country deserves better. The truth is, we don't deserve better as a nation. We don't. We have built and perpetuated this system. Blindly, mindlessly, thoughtlessly. By the continuing insistence on being driven by emotions. By making all dissent into a personal offense instead of engaging in conscious and purposeful debate, we have done this to ourselves. By relying on U.S. exceptionalism and divisive party loyalty as a national anthem, we have sung that chaotic chorus as the theater curtains went up in flames around us and we are choked by the toxic fumes. We made our choices. In 2016, we left ourselves with the choice between Trump and Clinton. Even those who did not vote made their voices known that they saw too little difference to bother. This time around, we left ourselves with the choice between Trump and Biden. Warmonger corporate sexual predator with mental illness versus warmonger corporate sexual predator with mental illness. I expect even fewer vote people to vote this year than 2016 and they will be reiterating the same disheartened rationale as they did in 2016. And the predictable response by the DNC will be the same as 2016. Trump will likely win again. The DNC will proclaim that everyone on the planet is responsible for their loss except themselves. They're already doing this. They've been doing this. It will be the fault of Sanders, Russia, third parties, the voters that they cannot inspire to vote, Trump, hackers, space aliens, you name it. The pathetic part is how many blue no matter who and Sanders loyalists who will follow his lead and vote for Biden and they'll just go right along with the narrative that it's not the DNC's fault and it's whatever. So let's make an agreement right now, shall we? 
the DNC already lost this election. They didn't exactly lose their goals because they'd rather have Trump than a progressive any day. Then they will play the victim card for the next four years while concurrently approving every GOP pro-corporate policy or budget and every conservative Trump nominee for federal court or cabinet position. Then they will call themselves the resistance while they erect one attempt after another for impeachment on false, nonsensical, and insubstantial accusations out of pure theater and drama. They will not bring up war crimes. They will not bring up locking children in cages. They will not bring up millions of starving and homeless Americans or people dying from lack of medical care. They won't mention any of that. We know that this is what they will do if Trump wins. It's not up for debate. They've already illustrated this for the last four years, starting before Trump ever won the election. Or maybe Biden will just squeak by into office using the exact same electoral college which the DNC has spent years opposing. If that happens, there will be no changes except for more wars. He, he will, at some point, probably very early on, have to step down and relinquish power for health reasons to whatever neoliberal warmonger has been chosen for him as a running mate. The other option is that we can make a different choice. We can end the duopoly once and for all. We can vote for third party candidates. We can become associated with the Green Party platform, which compared to the Sanders policies goes way beyond them. The Green Party policy proposals are more comprehensive, more detailed, more responsible, more humanistic, more anti-corporate, and more environmentally friendly. In fact, they comprise the original Green New Deal before the DNC bastardized the name and watered it down for their corporate owners. Now, do I really expect that most people are going to bother looking up and reading through the Green Party platform even for two minutes? No, it's not short enough to be a meme. So they won't bother. They'll take one look at it and go, oh. So I'm going to be creating a series of videos, podcasts, which go into this in detail. Maybe in this way, it stands a greater chance of being discussed. Along the way, I'm hoping that is exactly what will happen, that people will share the recording and discuss the policies. If they have questions or think that I'm making something up, they can confirm the information by looking up the Green Party platform for themselves. No matter what we do, we absolutely have to be voting in favor of policies, not simply for or against a name. We've been through this numerous times in just over four years, and we can easily see how that has turned out for us, and it has not turned out well. So we need to expect more, not from the candidates, we need to expect more from ourselves. That's the only way things are going to change. How can we expect our elected officials or candidates to take risks when we continuously debase those in our society pushing hardest to move us left? The pre-2016, pre-convention uh, Sanders supporters. The Jill Stein supporters. The ones who have been warning, screaming at the top of our lungs about the corruption of the DNC. 
how do we improve our society, our system for the better, when the true progressives face arguments that we are too idealistic, too uncompromising, even though all we have done is suffer co through compromises dragging us further right for decades. With the future of the planet, our health, our lives, our children on the line, when do we draw the line in the sand and say there is no longer room for compromise? When do we stand together, stop attacking each other, and instead work together to achieve a realistic structure based on peace, on equality, and on prosperity for each of us? When will you be ready for this? When? Millions of us are ready for it right now. Millions of us realize that there is no more room for compromise. We are out of resources, out of money, out of health, out of patience, and out of time. The time for change is now, not later. Not four years from now, not two years from now, now right now. And the beginning of that change has to start inside of you. You can't look outside for it. I keep on saying, we have no heroes. We are our own heroes and it's time to act like it. So look in the mirror, find that hero in the far depths of your eyes and bring it out. All right, so that's going to be it for this one. Share this podcast. I'll just call it a podcast. Talk about these issues. Encourage other people to make the change, to get informed, to stop relying on the two-party system. We have to move away from it. All right, if you can, please donate a dollar a month to help me expand the channel. And keep talking, keep thinking, keep questioning. That's it for today. Hope you have a good one.